So last night I went to bed at 9 o'clock and so I have my alarm set for 5 this morning um, you know so that I can get up and get some work done before my daughter gets up and I'm still so tired <laughs> so yeah it's 6 o'clock now um, I snoozed for about 10 minutes after my alarm went off and then otherwise I was just on my phone in my bed on Facebook and whatever just trying to wake up uh, I'm just having a cup of passion tea and um, and I'm just about to do a little bit of reading. Um, I'm a couple days behind in my push, so I'm gonna I'm hoping to get two days done right now before my daughter gets up. Breakfast today is the same as day one. Um, I got steamed kale, one piece of whole grain toast, and two scrambled eggs. I just got home from taking my daughter to preschool, and. Oh my gosh, it took like twice as long as it normally takes to get to her, her preschool because the roads are crazy, the traffic is crap. This was from the blizzard that we had on Monday. It still is just like insane. And so I was like stressed out because we were going to be late. So I was stressed out because I hate being late. And, um, and I was stressed out, you know, stressed out a bit because of the roads and whatever. And I caught myself. When I got home here, I was like, I just want to go eat. So I stopped and I was like, okay, is this a craving? Like, am I craving something? Nope. I'm not craving anything in particular. I just want to eat. So why? What? Why do I want to eat? I'm not hungry. Like, I actually stopped listening to my stomach. I'm like, I'm not hungry. Obviously, it's the stress. So this is good. Like, this is, this is, it's this sort of stuff that I was hoping to get from the reset is kind of get more in tune with when I want to eat, is it, what, what is it because of? Like, am I actually hungry? Is it time to eat? Or uh, is there something else going on? In this case, there's something else going on. So what we're going to do right now is for lunch today, I'm having this lentil lime salad and it needs to like marinate for like two hours before you eat it. So I'm going to just get my lentils cooking on the stove right now and then I'll make my salad, put that together. Uh, so, and then I'll, uh, and then I'm going to get a little bit of work done and uh, then it'll be just about time to head back out and go get my daughter again. Here's my lunch. This is uh, just one serving of the lentil and lime salad that I made myself earlier. Um, and the, the book calls for um, to have a microgreen salad along with the lentil and lime salad, but I really don't feel like salad today. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble that it's like only day three and I'm sick of salad already because the last phase is like all salad. But anyways, so I'm just going to have this and I, I'm sure it'll be more than enough. Just um, having my afternoon supplements here. I just finished my lovely green drink. Sorry, should have tears to you guys. I'm sure you want to see that for 21 days. And my um, mineralized. I, I have to, everything has timing on the ultimate reset here. Like you have to have your supplements a certain amount of time after and before eating um and you have to eat a certain amount of time after taking your supplements so um it's like you take your supplements and then you have to wait 30 minutes before you eat and then you have to wait at least two hours before taking your next supplements and then again half an hour before eating um so yeah so it's 2 30 so at about three i'm gonna make myself a shake um and then I think I'm gonna do a Tai Chang workout. Um, tai Chang is kind of just it's just like stretching and stuff like that. So they actually kind of they recommend like Tai Chang and uh, like yoga and stuff while you're doing the ultimate reset. So I think I'm gonna try the Tai Chang workout that came with the ultimate reset. I'll let you guys know how I feel because I felt today has been a really big struggle. Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm so tired. Like, I think it is. Like, so I'm so tired. I realize that typically when I get tired, I either obviously caffeinate or I will start eating. Just mindlessly, randomly eating. Because, of course, I'm not going to fall asleep. Like, and it kind of wakes me up. You know, like, eating kind of wakes you up, right? And so I think that that's part of the reason that today has been such a struggle. My daughter just decided to hide in the pantry. So that's cool. 
Um, so I think that that's why today has been such a struggle. Like I've just been wanting to eat. I'm going strong and I will keep going strong and I'm not giving in to these urges. Um, so I'm really proud of myself for that because, you know, I, I have gotten to a point, I mean, obviously I broke the habit of giving into the urge every time I want to eat something at one point because I've lost a ton of weight, but I was getting back into the, the habit of if I get the urge to eat something, I will just go, go to the pantry or the fridge, just find something to start eating. So this is good because this is preventing me from doing this. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to have my shake in about 30 minutes here. So that should help with the cravings and stuff like that as well. Make me feel satisfied. And then I'm going to do a Tai Chi workout and maybe that'll kind of re-energize myself a bit. So, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, there's my shake. Uh, today is vegan chocolate with half a cup of coconut water and half a cup of distilled water. And, um, uh, half a tablespoon of almond butter and a little bit of cinnamon and it and some ice and it's really really very good my daughter's even is that good yeah there's water in there is that good yeah yeah she's loving it mm. <laughs> yeah I very rarely can get away with making myself a shake without her wanting some but I stopped making them for her because she would never finish them so today I just gave her a little bit of mine instead of like making her because normally I'd make her like half a serving so it wasn't like as much as I normally have but I think it was still maybe too much or whatever so today I just gave her some of mine and she's like devouring it so that's good all right so I went to do the Tai Chang uh, workout that came with the ultimate reset and you need a foam roller to do it and I don't have a foam roller so anyways, um, I did Turbo Fire Stretch 40, which is an awesome, awesome stretch. It's like 40 minutes long and it's like yoga. It's really good. I honestly, I never enjoyed that one before because I'm not, I don't typically like stretching and yoga and stuff because I'm all about like, I need to burn as many calories as possible. And, but I think I really, I really enjoyed it today because obviously I can't get my heart rate up and you know and not focusing on burning as many calories so I was able to just really enjoy it and I'm really glad I did that and in case you can't tell I'm like feeling quite a bit better I actually felt quite a bit better after I had my Shakeology just like yesterday and the day before after I had my Shakeology I felt better like a bit more awake a bit more alert um and yeah I feel like really good right now I'm really glad that I did that I kind of failed on the presentation of this one this stuff didn't cut as nicely as I wanted to but this is the tempeh nori rolls so it's just um nori seaweed on the outside it's kind of like sushi but what's in the inside is um some tempeh which I've never tried before so I'm kind of interested to try that um some carrot sticks cucumber sticks uh, slices of avocado and some brown rice and then I just have a little bit of my lentil lime salad from lunch on the side all right guys so I'm just having yet another cup of tea I have like six cups of tea a day now which is something I never used to drink much tea I always wanted to so that's just another thing that I'm getting from the ultimate reset is I'm starting to drink more tea so cheers so anyways those um, tempeh nori rolls were actually pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'll make them again though. Like they were, they were okay, but they weren't like you know they were like I could eat them again, but they weren't like a favorite. Like I'm not like oh my gosh, can't wait to have that again. Like that lentil lime salad was so good that you know as you saw I had a little bit more with dinner as well, and I'm gonna have it for lunch tomorrow because it was so good. Um, you know, so, but it's not like that. It's like, yeah, these nori rolls were just like, they were okay. And I fear that I'm going to probably end up just throwing away the rest of that tempeh that I bought because I don't know, I'm not going to eat it by itself. I don't think I might, we'll see. I don't know. Um, but anyways, it was okay. And it was, you know what? I tried something new. Um, maybe if I added some of those Bragg liquid aminos, which for those of you who don't know what they are, it's basically soy sauce. It's just uh, better for you than soy sauce. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. 
Um, but yeah, I, if you cannot tell, I'm feeling like a lot better than I was earlier today. I, um, that, that stretch, the Turbo Fire Stretch 40 DVD, man, that's just, that Shakeology and that, I'm like, yeah. And hopefully that my energy keeps up. I think it will. So I can like be a bit productive for once after my daughter goes to bed tonight and actually get some work done. Um, like I said this morning, I wanted to get two days of my push done and I only got one day done. So, um, I want to do another one of that. And then I have like a few other things to do tonight. So hopefully my energy stays up. I'll probably have like another three cups of tea. Um, but yeah, so right now I am feeling really good. Um, I have good energy right now. I just, I feel really good. So we'll see. Day three to five is supposed to be the hardest and today's day three. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, maybe I'll just make sure to do those stretch DVDs every day. And I'm actually considering, I'm torn because I want to have Shakeology for breakfast because, um, all three days I have felt a lot better, like had more energy, felt better after I had my Shakeology in the afternoon. And so I'm thinking, like, if I have it for breakfast, then I will feel, I'll have that energy and feel better throughout the whole day. But the reason I'm torn on that is because the breakfasts are so good. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll have Shakeology. I think breakfast tomorrow is supposed to just be, like, some fruit and yogurt. So maybe tomorrow I'll have Shakeology and a little bit of yogurt. Because the yogurt with the pure maple syrup is really good. So... We'll see, though. You guys will see what I have tomorrow morning. Um, and, yeah, that's that for day three. So three days down, 18 to go. <laughs>